gospel circuit, he was known as the country boy, but his devoted fans knew him as Willie Neal Johnson, leader of the keynotes. He was called the country boy because of his bluesy style that seemed to take him back to his roots. Hola. Willie Neal began performing as a child with his six siblings. He said his mother always had them in church singing, so it was natural for him to become a gospel singer. He was a teenager when he joined his first group, but it wasn't long before the young man with the big Texas talent struck out on his own. He formed a quartet called the Gospel Keynotes, and they quickly became one of the favorite acts in the area. They landed a recording contract and soon had their first big hit, Show Me The Way, followed by 20 more albums. Over the years, group members changed, and in 1985, Willie Neal signed with Malico Records and reinvented the group. Exploding on stage and electrifying audiences was the country boy, Willie Neal Johnson, and the new keynotes. When Willie Neal and the new keynotes hit the stage, audiences found themselves in the midst of a good old-fashioned revival. Not content with being one of the best quartets, Willie Neal and the new keynotes help introduce a new concept known as Quartet. Teaming up with the Mississippi Mass Choir, they released I'm Yours, Lord, which became a big hit. Willie Neal Johnson died in 2001, but he and his gospel keynotes set a new standard for quartets, and they will forever be remembered as gospel greats.